Hi guys, my name is Firefly and welcome back to a brand new episode of Shapes.io Community Puzzles. Now, we're going to do what we do every Monday and check out five puzzles. And I did like the ratio from last episode, three mediums and two hard. I think that's, I think that's a good ratio. So I think we're going to stick with that this week. And again, thank you everyone for watching, all your support. It's great. I love, I love doing this series and I love doing it for you guys and blowing my mind every Monday morning. So let's just get straight into it. I'm just going to pick a random one from the start page. This one hasn't been done much. Let's go. All right, so this puzzle is called Let's Separate. It's by Vlazi or Be Lazy. Be Lazy. I'm just going to say Vlazi. Sorry if I butcher your name, but I'm going to say Vlazi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's been played 25 times and liked nine times. 4 minutes and 15 seconds average duration and a 48 point, oh, 48 percent completion rate. Oh, what a start. Welcome. <laughs> Alright, let's just get into it. Um, Alright, so what we've got here, we've got to put a white square and a white circle. We've got two secondary colours, so that obviously makes the white. We've got a paint and we've got insert. Okay. Okay, it seems easy right now, but with this completion right now, this could be a bit of a um, bit, a bit misleading because not many people have played it. So it, I don't think it's mostly not evened out to what the average completion rate should actually be. All right, but let's just go on and take a look. All right, what are we doing here? We've got everything at the bottom here, so that's great. We wouldn't do something like that. Right, I'm trying to see where we can uh, paint what we need to paint. We could do something like that, I guess, but there's so, so much space here. I feel like that's not it. Hmm. Maybe. I feel like this can go here, to be honest with you. And I just realized something that I need to do. Like, this is a bit um, off topic of this, but it's still related to the game. I haven't done the main game since they brought out achievements. So I need to, I've got zero achievements for this game. I just realized. So uh, I need to do that at some point. Maybe I'll do like an achievement video. Maybe I'll just do it offline don't know yet don't know yet thinking about it this could be an option right because if we put both of them in there they should come hmm no i wonder how that works let's just take a look at that quickly Let's do that like this. Now, would they come? They would, they would obviously come out on the same um, conveyor, but yeah, we won't be able to split it. Yeah, we won't be able to split that. Okay, cool. You set puzzle. It's good to test things out. It's good to test things out. All right. So I don't think we use that one. There is a possibility it could go like that. Mm, actually, no, there won't be that. Oh, this is a bit difficult, isn't it? Right, well, that went like that. That went like that. That went there. And that gives us white. And that kind of uses that space. So it leaves us this space to deal with everything else. We would need to split it. We 
that obviously goes like that. Mm -hmm. I really love the music in this game. It's so chilled. It is so chilled. Yeah, that, I don't think I'll go like that actually. There's just no room for the other one. Like this seems like the best place to pull it. How would we get that in there? And that in there. Because that would need to come out here. Like that, that would need to come out here like that. And that can't, we can't bridge underneath that. So that won't work. Oh, wait a second. We did something like this. Uh, no, that won't work. Because that will be blocked off. How can we do this? Now, there's a possibility this might have to go on the other side. No, that would be way too close to this. It would just block everything. Where can you go? Hmm. This is an interesting conundrum. Where could you go? That's why I feel like it has to be here because I feel like there's no other place. But then again, like I said in one of my other episodes, once my mind fixates on something, it's hard to deviate from that. I've got to learn to stop doing that. I really have to because it, it it kind of traps me in a certain way of thinking. Like, I really want to make this way work. <laughs> but it's just not going to work. It's just not going to work like that. Can I do anything with this here? Not really. If I put that there. Then the white would come out. Hmm. Yeah, I won't be able to do anything there. I don't think you can do anything with this. Yeah, because you can't get anything in there. I feel like this is the, the best place to pull it, to be honest with you. Well, there's definitely one thing, this is a bit tricky. Again, I'm gonna try and solve it this way. Now I can't put things like that, because there's just no point. Can't do that, because it won't 
reach that. And the same with this one as well. Yeah, no matter how much I try, that's not going to work. What should that be the answer as well, somehow? No, I can't do nothing with that. If I, I'm going to try something really random here. <clears throat> I don't even know if it's going to work. No, it's not going to work. Okay, never mind. I was going to try and put two color mixes and make one white come down here and one white come down here. But I just don't have enough space for that. If I put that there, how would this work? It just wouldn't. Yeah, that wouldn't work there. This is a tricky one. This is a tricky one. Now I know why it's got 48%. I'm sure some of you guys are just looking at it like the answer's right in front of you. Team kill normally comes through with an answer. It always manages to get the solution and put it on Discord. Always. Um, what are we doing there? Yeah, I, I just feel like... What about if we do... Oh, that's not going to work. Yeah, I feel like it has to be there. I, I just can't see anywhere else that it's going to be. No point doing that. <sighs> hmm. Well, this is a, a fun way to start the day, isn't it? All right, all right, all right. We need to get this white done. We need to get something in here. So it should be like, can't do that. It'd be something like that, wouldn't it? But it just wouldn't work. There's just no point <laughs> because it's not really given any gap. There you go, I got one done. <laughs> and now I have no room for the other.
Um, hmm. I don't think I'm meant to do any sort of craziness like cutting it. And I wonder why they don't have the splitter on here. The one that separates shapes. In the puzzle uh, DLC. I wonder why. Maybe they've explained it on the Discord somewhere, but... I have no idea. So if you put a wrong shape in here, does that automatically uh, change it? Does that automatically fade it? Yeah, it does. Hmm. Look at that. So maybe there's something to do with this? Hmm. I think maybe this is how you do it, but I need to change the order and things. Um, wow, this puzzle's taking me forever. <laughs> this puzzle's taking me forever. All right. Um, all right, I'm gonna change it around a bit and I'm gonna see you guys in a sec. All right, so there you go. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's just take a look at that puzzle quickly. Um, keep playing. Thank you very much, Vlassie. All right, so what I did is that the full, the flow through always takes the first item. The first item is on the left-hand side here, and the uh, alternative direction takes the second item. So before I had the flow through here, and it went down, so that's why it's putting the circles here, but we changed that to change the flow through down here. And it works. So you did have to use this one. Hmm, I learned something new. Anyways, thank you very much, and let's move on to the next one. Okay, so we've got one here from Chu Chuhan Ravi011. Sorry if I said your name wrong. Called No Roads. Played 777 times. Lucky number seven. Like 287 times. Three minutes, 18 seconds. And a bit more easier than the previous one. 74.9%. But, but, you know how I like No Roads. No conveyor belts. So this should be fun. So let's look what inputs we've got here. We've got a quarter circle. Uh, three quarters of a circle, quarter circle, half circle, and a half red. So, from one, okay. That's a lot of cutting and painting. Well, not a lot of cutting. Well, paint should obviously go like that. But then, what about this? <laughs> hmm. Like this. And then, we need to get cutting done so maybe this cut yep that does that one cool already on the right track so we need to be careful with this one we need two half circles so that's obviously going to go something like that and what is that two half circles look at that look at that Oh, oh, I see what we did here. So we need to get that there. Hmm, interesting. Okay, we'll deal with that in a sec. And then we've got a half circle and this one rotated, okay. So 
we can do that. We can rotate. What do we need to rotate the other way, don't we? And we can stack. So is that just doing that then? Uh, look at that. All done. All done. Less than three minutes. <laughs> that makes up for the first long one. Okay, thank you very much, Cho Chohan Ravi 001. Great puzzle. Okay, so we're on to our next puzzle, our last medium puzzle of the day, and it's called Calico Kitty. It's by Pepper Snell. Played 326 times, like 118 times. Average duration, four minutes, three seconds, and a 76.1 completion rate. Man, I think I've got that down to a T now. I always say it differently every uh, every puzzle. Well, that was quite good, I like that. <laughs> All right, let's get on with this. So we've got to make a, a little kitty. Now, I am an animal person. I love dogs and cats, snakes, lizards, every animal you can think of, and insect. So this is a joy. Let's go and make a kitty. So we need to, mm, we need to color one side of this and put it back together. So we're gonna need to cut it and then stack it, something like that. Yep, that as well. Okay, so that's that bit. We're gonna need to stack everything together there. This one needs to be white. And we need to get that out again to be white as well. So we could do maybe something like this. And then we need to rotate that 180 degrees. We need to stack this one here with this one, but we need to make that white as well. Like that. That can go here. Can go like that, like that, like that. So we've got that bit, we've got that bit, we've got that bit, and that should be. Ah, I see what's happening here. Okay, okay. I was wondering that was a bit too quick. Okay, so let's first. So that needs to be the last one. We need to stack this in here, like that. There we go. Lovely. Thank you very much, Pepper Snell. And let's move on to the next one. Okay, so this puzzle is called Micro 61. Same author name, Micro. 21 minutes, 39 seconds, average duration, and a 27.1 completion rate now. I have no hope with this one. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do this one, but we're going to try it. We are going to try it. So we've got to do this shape. Now it looks pretty simple. We've got all the items here. So what's, oh, why would you do that? They've put a block. <laughs> that is, that is painful. That is cruel. Okay, so we can't use these. We can we can't use we, we can't use anything. We can't use anything. So we've got to we've got to make it all ourselves basically. So we need yellow and purple. We need to make this shape. And we've got blue and scion. Which is to make scion, we need green. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, we got sound there. Never mind. Never mind. We've got it. Um, okay, so we need to cut this into four, color it. Cut this into two and color it. 
well, cut it into four, cut it and get rid of two. All right, let's start with cutting this into four. Let's get this out of the way. And then, oh, that one, that. So that is that one. So we can rotate that 180 degrees and that will give us that. Okay, cool. Then we've got the blue here. Would that be better to put there? No, it wouldn't because it, it breaks into that. Okay, cool. Um, hmm. Okay, we'll figure out how to get that blue in a sec. Then we're going to need to stack it somehow here. That can go in there, and then we'll get that stacked in there. But right. that's for another time. So this one, we've got yellow and we've got purple. Now purple we need to use twice. So we're gonna move that at some point, like that. Let's paint and paint. Is that something we can do? All right, so what do we need purple? We need to rotate it here. Let's rotate it like that. Is it that way? Yes, it is. Double check. Okay, items, so it comes out again. Yes, so that's the purple. Cool. Lovely job. I'm telling myself, lovely job. <laughs> uh, this way? Yeah. Alright, we can stack that. That gives us that. Cool. I'm happy with that. Then, we need to get this out here. We need to cut this bad boy. And maybe cut it again. Put this stuff in the bin. Rotate this anyway for now. That gives us that's actually the well, I wouldn't say perfect, but it's actually pretty damn good. Um hmm. so I'm assuming. Hmm. This could go like this. All right, that's in the right position. Then we need to get blue round here somehow. Uh, that looks good. in a way there and then let's delete that maybe like that we also got to think about stacking everything as well <coughs> excuse me what um yeah that's not gonna stack <coughs> i think i've been talking too much voice is going um that's not going to stack in time. Sorry, this episode is going to be a little bit longer than usual. Okay. Um, definitely need to stack there. We need to think about where we're going to make this circle as well. Now, with this bit, I don't know how to make this bit smaller because... If I did that, 
this will be in the way and it will block the flow of things. And I can't do it there either, that will be in the way. If I did it like this, no, that would be in the way. So yeah, I think you are meant to use this. And I think this is correct. I still need to get this out actually. Now it is possible that I need to use um, a cutter, a different cutter. Nah, that's not gonna work. What am I thinking? I think that's the best way to do it. But we've got to think about how we're going to get this out. Now that can't go anywhere there. And it can't go up here. no idea what I'm doing, but I'm going to figure out something. Alright, um... All right, I'm going to take a look at this for a few seconds and see what we can do. I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, so taking a bit of time and I've come up with this and this works. So now I've got to figure out the stars. So I thought I'd cut back in here um, and let's try and figure out the stars together. So what else, what else I need to do? I need to rotate this one. I haven't rotated this one yet. So this needs to be upside down, right? So let's do that. And there we go. So we've got both half circles now. What I was thinking originally is putting the whole circle together, then putting the stars on there. But maybe, just maybe, we need to put the star on there first and then connect them both together. So we have half a circle with a star, half a circle with a star and put it there. Because I feel like that is going to be an easier fit. Now what I did here, I cut it, cut it, rotate it, all that jazz. If you want to look, um, it gets rotated, it gets split, and then you've got the two painters here. And it's pretty much the same thing here. So now we need to make this with the blue here and this with the purple here. So if we do Hmm, I feel like that needs to go down a bit. I feel like that needs to be there. But then there's no space to cut. Because we're going to need to stack at least here, minimum. And this stack at least here, minimum. Um. But how are we going to get that win there? Hmm. 
So let's look at the cutting process here. I think this is the hard part. <laughs> this is the hard part. Um, there's a lot of space here. And a bit of space here. We definitely, definitely need... Ah, paint is around here somewhere. circle we need to go on top so technically the circle should be like that um and in this area we need to make this Rotate. Uh, not that way. Let's try this. Clear items. Mm, I'd rather it the other way. Maybe. Maybe this would be a better way to pull it. Yeah. So we could do something like that. See, now that gets us that bit, right? We've got that. But. How are we going to get the blue done? Now we've got the right shape for it. Hmm. Can I stack this? somewhere else won't work like that nah won't work there we're so close we're so close that obviously needs to bin Now I want to try and move this over a bit. So here maybe. That way I can... Ah, but there's no point getting that round there, is there? Then how would I get the colour in here? I could do something like... This. And then this would be like that. Clean item, let's see how that flows. So yeah, that gives me what I want, okay. That's a start, I guess. But now we need to get this painted. And I feel like there's no easy way to do that here. It's just, it just feels like there's not enough space here. Do I need to stack this? I don't think that will work. I could do something like... Nah. 
what do you I'll take that away wouldn't I and then could I stack this here no can't and there's no way to move this down by one is there well even if I move it down it this is gonna block it hmm I'm thinking I'm not utilizing this space. Okay, this episode will get on way too long. So, I think I'm going to give up on this puzzle. Guys, help me out here. Finish this off for me. Leave a comment down below or leave a uh, picture in Discord and let me know how this is done. But thank you very much, Michael, and let's move on to the next one. Okay, our last puzzle of the day, and it's called Double Trouble. It's authors is, or dot author is epic 95, played 73 times and like 15 times, average duration 6 minutes 44 seconds and a 32.9% completion rate. Ooh, this is the last one. We've managed to do all the medium ones, failed one hard one and now it's time to do the last hard one so i'm guessing stacking is a thing here could be right there no it won't be right there could be here and here maybe maybe but that's a lot for just two outputs let's see so first of all, but then again, we are going to be cutting. Actually, we can't. Yeah, can we cut there? Maybe. So that gives us two halves. I like that. I like that. That doesn't like me though. Let's do that for now. That gives us two halves. Um. can paint no you can use this painter you know what maybe it's better to paint everything first Or do we stack and then paint it? Let's get these stackers out of the way. So I want to stack. These guys. Hmm. We need to rotate. Wait a second. Wait a second. There's no rotation. Okay, we don't need to actually rotate. Okay, cool. We just need to match them up correctly. And what does that produce me? If it delete it, it doesn't show what it produces me. Oh, okay, so at the end of the day, it will not produce me the right shape. <laughs> um, or would it? Oh, yeah, there we go. That's one done. Uh, I forgot what that looked like. So that is this side. Cool. Okay, cool. Let's remember that. And then we need to stack the other one. Like so. And then paint it somehow. So 
something like that and then split it. So this needs to move down a lot more. I'm wasting way too much space here. Okay, let's try this again. Can't work like that. If we put that like that, Yeah, it's tricky getting everything around in the right area. I feel like this is the only way to get this one quite quickly. I need this painter to go something like this. And how we get this out. Because that would be then distributed like that. Um, hopefully in the right way. So we need to do everything in this space. What about if we do something like this? How would that work out for us? Okay, looking good so far. Or not. Hmm. I got a feeling I'm on the right track. on the right track am I? I can go like that. No. Can this move over a bit? Up a bit. Like that. And that move like that. But then how would that help me? If I cut it like this maybe? Can move over a bit. This could actually move to there, to be honest with you. Now, how would I get this one into there?
Hmm. I think I'm close. I think I'm close. Would it be something like no, nah, because that's in the way. No point in doing that. Just need to get that in here. What can I adjust? I don't know what I can adjust. I really don't. Right. Um. Is it this? Nah, that would just be. waste of space really. Yeah, it wouldn't wouldn't really do much. Oh my god. <laughs> Why is everything clicking so fast? Can I adjust this bit? This like this. That would do that. Then how would we stack it? Yeah, I wouldn't be able to stack it like that. If I put the cut here, it won't work. I'll put it like that. No, that won't work either. Mm. It may work. Hang on a minute. Hang on just a tad. Okay, that's wrong. Wrong way. If I rotate them. Ah, oh, I don't have any rotators. Ah. Oh. <sighs> okay. We can we can work with this. Can we? Okay, I'm gonna try and figure this out quickly. Uh, only gonna cut it because I feel like this episode's gonna take far too long. So I'm gonna try and figure this out and I'll get back to you. Okay, I've taken a look at it. I've come out of this crazy mess and I have unfortunately run out of time. I cannot figure this out. Um, Again, let me know, because this is going to frustrate me. I may try and do this. I may try and do both puzzles, actually, offline, and see if I can figure it out in the end. But that is all I have time for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys got to see some new puzzles. And I hope you have an incredible, an incredible Monday. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.